installing adjustable guide plates on a big block Chevrolet. Lash, we're just getting them snugged up so we can tell where on the valve they ride. And what I'm going to do is do it a couple of circles, to get everything settled into place. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're going to turn this engine over a couple times. Okay, back on a compression stroke. Now we're gonna check here. I'm looking from this direction at that uh, roller tip. And right now it's pushed that way. So I need to hit it this way. Okay, and I'm gonna use my, this is a 1940s Pratt & Whitney PWA 1395. You absolutely, absolutely have to have one of these. I'm joking. This is just a drift. It is really a Pratt & Whitney uh, drift for an old radial engine. My grandfather's. It's kind of cool. Uh, so we're going to drive this thing over. Just tap it this direction. Okay. A little bit more.
And then this one also needs to go that direction, away from, I can't even get my finger in there. That way, over there, towards the front. I'm gonna try driving it here. Oh, that was pretty good. All right, so now we got this one lined up. This one's actually a little bit far now, it looks like. Although, it's not bad. I'm gonna try driving it. Oops. That looks pretty decent. Drive this one down. I'll need to drive this one just over a little touch more. All right, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna try to push this one over just a touch. That looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna turn it over one full revolution just to be sure. Okay, on the compression stroke, now I'm hoping that they're still centered. And I'm standing over here looking at them. They are perfect. Now, here's where you get screwed up if you're moving too fast, which I did. You need to tighten this center bolt. And that will lock this guide plate in place. If you don't, the minute you take this off to tighten, retorque your studs, all this is gonna change and you're screwed. So, it's easier without a camera in the way. I'm way, way more graceful when the camera's not on, I promise. Okay, there you have it. So, now we're gonna pull these off one at a time. I'm gonna pull this one off, torque that rocker, put that thing back on, adjust it. I'm gonna pull this one off, torque this rocker stud, and then I'll readjust the rocker. So, hope that helped. You know, I was kind of lost when I started, so. Uh, and again, these 454 Gen 5 retrofit hydraulic roller with Flowtech 290 heads.